Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my top five decorating tips, covering the basics that I think every home decorator needs to know. So this video is going to be part of a series that I would like to start on my channel for simple decorating tips. I'm going to cover things like color theory and mixing decor styles and decorating with texture. But if there is anything in particular that you would like me to cover, I would love if you would let me know in the comments down below if there is anything you would like to see. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So my first basic decorating tip is to, when decorating in groupings, use odd numbers. Odd numbers are much more pleasing to the eye and they look less forced and less placed and like you've really strategically placed them there, even though you will have. But when they're in odd numbers, and particularly is also good if you're doing groupings of similar things, if they are in both odd numbers and different sizes or shapes slightly, that is when things start to look really interesting. Those pumpkins are a good example that I decorated my TV unit with. They're all different sizes and they're all different shapes and they're generally in odd numbers. On one side, I use six pumpkins, but I place them in two groups of three. So that is another way that you can look at doing things. There's three together and there is three together on either side of a single lantern. So odd numbers, very pleasing to the eye. They look less forced. Give it a try in your own home. My second tip is to use repetition. So as a general rule of thumb, a single item on its own will look out of place. There are instances where there isn't, this isn't the case. So if something is a really large statement piece, if you have a really large floor vase or a really large piece of art, those things look great on their own. However, as an example, I've just changed the cushions over in my lounge room to red cushions, as you can see. These are two different cushions on either side of me, but they are both red. And then I've repeated these two same cushions on the other couch on the other side of the room. If you add one red cushion in a room that is otherwise black and white, it's going to look out of place. So repetition is key. And you usually want to use either minimum two to three items of something. Repeat it two to three times for it to look like you planned it. Next, number three, I want you to understand your style or your mix of styles. This is so important when you decorate and particularly when you're shopping for home decor for your home. If you don't understand your style or your mix of styles, you're going to be distracted by everything that is pretty in a store. And I have been so guilty of this and I've got it home and then I've ended up with all this random stuff that is really pretty in the store or really pretty on its own it doesn't go with anything in my home. I do wanna say that I think it's really important that you don't have to have one single word that describes your style. And I think that all of us probably have a pretty eclectic style. If you look at the different things you have in your home, I decorate with three different styles in my home and I've talked about this before. I have classic furniture, I have a lot of farmhouse decor, and then I have a little bit of mid-century modern stuff. And I've mixed it together into a style that is unique to me. And I think this is where mixing decor styles is so important because you create something, a look for your home that is completely unique to you and is your style. And I think that is what is so fascinating about home decorating and I love seeing other people's homes and how they decorate for that reason. Tip number four 
is to decorate from a strong base of neutrals in your home. Now, it's totally fine if you love color. Use color, but to keep things looking sophisticated and polished, you need to add that color on top of a base of neutrals. Use those as the majority of your home and then layer your color on top. And that is when you get color to look so polished and so pretty. And it stands out more. People notice that color more in your home because it's used as an accent as opposed to explosions of color all over your home. So my fifth and final tip, and this one might sound a little fluffy, but it is to not be afraid to experiment and to trust your instincts and your style. And I'll use this example of um, a good friend I went shopping with recently and she'll know who she is when she watches this video, but we went shopping together and she wanted my help to put together a full centerpiece for her dining table. In the end, she picked out every single item that went into that display. I didn't pick anything. I just validated her thoughts on what she selected and picked as her style. And in the end, it was all her. But I just think it's so important to trust your instincts and trust your style and not be afraid to experiment. So thanks for watching today's video and I hope these five tips were helpful for you. If you try any of them in your own home, let me know because I'd love to hear how they went. And again, let me know in the comments down below if there are any topics that you would like me to cover as part of this simple design tip series. If you did enjoy the video today, I would love if you could give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next week. Bye.